Okay, good day ulit and welcome ulit sa ating science class and let's learn science with Sir Chris. Okay, so today we're going to classify the different types of colloids as sols, emulsions, foams, aerosols, and gels. So sa last video natin, pinag-aralan natin doon ang tinatawag na Colloids. Ano bang mga characteristics ng colloids? So this time naman, ika-classify natin ang colloids as sols, emulsions, foams, aerosols, and gels. So our lesson for today is about types of colloids. Yeah. So one is the sol. So a sol is a solid substance dispersed in either solid or liquid substance. So, there are two types of sols, solid sol and liquid sol. So, pag sinabi natin sol, so sabi nga, is a solid substance dispersed in either solid or liquid. Yan. So, pag sinabi nga natin, uh, di ba, pag sinabi natin colloid, so meron siyang dalawang part. The dispersed phase and the dispersing medium. So, pag sinabing dispersed phase, so konti lang siya, para siyang, para siyang um, solute sa solution. So, ang sol daw is a solid substance dispersed pwede sa solid or pwede rin sa liquid. Kaya nga, there are two types of sol. Solid sol and liquid sol. Examples of solid sols Ibig sabihin, solid dispersed in solid. So, parang solid, uh, hinalo siya sa solid. Yan. Our exam, uh, example, opal, pearl, and other colored glass like stained glass. Yan, opal. Pearl. And stained glass. Yan, sa mga simbahan makikita natin yan. So, these are some examples of solid sols. Next, examples of liquid sols. So, solid dispersed in liquid. So, ang tawag doon ay liquid sols. So, solid particles na dispersed, hinalo sa liquid. Example, blood, paints, gum, muddy water, and some forms of pigment in. So, ang mga liquid sol naman kagaya ng ating dugo. So, ang dugo natin pag nakikita natin liquid. But actually, pag tinignan natin sa microscope, ang ating dugo ay merong mga solid particles. Or tinatawag silang mga blood cells. Yan, paint, muddy water, ink. Yan. Next is an emulsion. So, an emulsion is a liquid substance dispersed in either a liquid or solid. So, baka, mag, baka malito tayo sa emulsion at saka sa sol. Ang sol, solid substance dispersed in either liquid or solid. Samantalang ang emulsion is a liquid substance dispersed in either liquid or solid. So, liquid naman siya. Kung ang sol ay solid, siya naman ay liquid. So, examples of emulsions are milk, cod liver oil, butter, mayonnaise, and most ointment and creams used in medicines and cosmetics. So, ito yung mga examples ng tinatawag nating emulsion. So, liquid substance dispersed in either liquid or solid. Next. Next, we have Aerosols. So, aerosols are suspensions of liquid or solid particles in a gas. So, tandaan natin ha. Suspensions of liquid or solid particles in a gas. So, ang ating dispersing medium ay ang gas. Ang dispersed phase ay solid or liquid particles. So, examples of aerosols are clouds and fogs, which are cold natural aerosols which consist of water droplets dispersed in air. Yan. Kaya nga diba sabi, solid or liquid particles. Yan. Kaya nga, 
Ang clouds and fogs are examples of aerosols, so natural aerosols. So it consists of water droplets. So water droplets are considered liquid. So dispersed in air. So air is a gas. So dusty air and smokes are also aerosols. So insecticides, perfume spray, spray paint are artificial or man-made aerosols dispersed in the air. Yan. So yan ang mga examples ng ating aerosols. Clouds, fogs, insecticides, perfume spray, spray paint. Another types of colloids are the foams. Foams are colloids which consist of gas dispersed in liquid na tinatawag natin liquid foams or solid. Tawag natin ay solid foams. So, tandaan natin. So, ang konte ay ang gas. So, ang ating dispersed phase ay ang gas. Ang ating dispersion or dispersing medium ay liquid or solid. So, kung gas dispersed in liquid, tinatawag silang liquid foams. And kung gas dispersed in solid, tinatawag silang solid foam. So, examples of foams are whipped cream. Yan. So, yun nilalagay natin sa mga sa ibabaw ng mga ice cream, sa ibabaw ng mga coffee. Yan ang tinatawag na whipped cream. Next, froth on a glass of a beer. Yan. So, yung bula sa ibabaw ng beer. So, example yan ng foams. So, Ladder, yan. So, yung bula ng sabon are examples of liquid foam. Next, we have styrofoam, pumice, yan. So, yung bato galing sa vulkan, yeast, bread, yan. Yung tinapay natin na binibili sa tindahan, yung malambot, yeast, bread ang tawag. And cake icing are examples of solid foams. Yan. And last are Gels. So, gels are colloids which consist of liquid dispersed in solid. So, your favorite gelatin dessert is a gel. So, another example is the silica gel. So, nakikita natin yan sa mga box ng sapatos or box ng mga or sa mga medicines na binibili natin dahil ginagamit ito para magtanggal ng moisture to absorb moisture sa ating mga for example sa mga shoe box yan nilalagay yan para i-absorb ang moisture para hindi madaling masira yung ating mga shoes next we have um, show polish yan show polish natin so okay yan ang kiwi yan jellies and jams are examples of shell. So, another example ay yung hair gel natin na ginagamit natin sa ating buhok. Okay. So, these are examples of shells. Okay. Class, so like, let us observe and study this picture. So, ano kaya ang pinapakita sa atin nito? Okay. So, pinapakita lang na sa, sa atin ito na using insecticide ay hindi maganda sa ating planeta, especially artificial insecticides. Okay, yung nagtataglay ng chlorofluorocarbons or yung CFC. Yan. So, artificial aerosols are not environment friendly. Yan. So, these products contains chlorofluorocarbons or the CFC which destroy the ozone layer. So, alam nyo ba ko yung tinatawag na ozone layer? So, ito yung layer of gas na andon sa part ng stratosphere that protects us from the harmful ultraviolet rays coming from the sun. So, kung walang uh, ozone layer na nagpo-protect sa atin, so siguradong hindi tayo makakasurvive ng, uh, dito sa ating planeta. So, ang tanong nga, are you using artificial aerosols frequently? So, siguro hindi naman siya um, um, uh, masamang gumamit, pero huwag nating uh, gamitin ng matalas. Kasi nga alam natin na this artificial aerosols contains chlorofluorocarbons. Yan. 
So what should you do to help in protecting the ozone layer? Of course, so avoid, kung pwede lang, avoid using artificial aerosols or yung mga insecticides natin. Yan. Kasi nakakasira nga sila ng ozone layer. So kung pwede, let us use uh, natural insecticides. Yan. So tingnan natin kung may natutunan. So classify the colloid materials written inside the box according to their type. So we have insecticides, mayonnaise, gelatin, pearl, perfume spray, milk, smoke, jam, paint, whipped cream. So i-classify natin sila as to sol, emulsion, gel, foam, aerosols. Sige nga. So sulat ninyo. So i-post niyo muna itong i-post niyo muna itong video para masagutan niyo and then mamaya i-check ninyo ang inyong sagot. Okay, so let us check your answer. So ito yung sol, paint, pearl, emulsion, milk, mayonnaise, uh, gel, jam, gelatin, foam, whipped cream, and aerosols, insecticide, smoke, and perfume spray. Okay, so hanggang dyan lang muna tayo. So ulitin ko ulit, please subscribe kayo sa aking YouTube channel. Okay, so para... Gagawa pa rin tayo ng maraming mga hanggang sa fourth quarter ng video para kayo ay matuto. So kahit sabi ko nga, hindi naman 100%, at least 99.9%. <laughs> okay, so hanggang dito lang muna. Bye-bye! See you in the next video!